apologize if you can hear any background noise. Um, where I live, there's loads of dogs that live around, um, so obviously they tend to like to start barking, especially on a day like today. We're having lots of nice weather in the UK. Um, so everyone's out having some drinks and lots of walks, so it's lovely. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packs of Astral Radiance. Let's open these up. We'll only get out a few. I always get out way too many. But we can be hopeful, can't we? Let's pop those just there so everyone knows what set we're opening. So, shall we go for a Dialga first? Dialga, Dialga. I have to say the artwork on the front of the packs for this one is really incredible. Like, there's, I have to say, there's not many that I would be like, oh wow, that's, that's really cool. Um, but these are pretty phenomenal, like really, really, really great. But let's get into the first pack, first pack, first pack, first pack. Oh, he's struggling. There we go. Some of our luck 
but when doing Pokemon pack openings, it's just crazy. We have Jubileef uh, Village Gold Card. Once during each of your play each player's turn, the, that player may shuffle their hand into their deck and draw five cards. If they do, their turn ends. That's so cool. Like it's so sparkly. I love this. Got a little Bidoof there as well. The God of Pokemon. And then like a that's the little uh, Galarian wheezing. But oh my god, what an amazing first pack. Some of these sleeves, I find the Sword and Shield Arrow ones were so much harder to sort of like get the card in the sleeve. But that's pretty incredible. Place that just there. I'll put those other cards just off to the side. And then we can go for a, um, oh my goodness, an, uh, oh my gosh, how have I, Samurai, I know it's a Samurai, but I can't remember the region. sense why it's the music Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Kamado. It's a Kamado. Kamado. Sounds like him. Choose a card in your hand and discard the other cards if you do draw four cards. If you have no other cards in your hand, you can't use this card. Interesting. And we have a non-holo. Uh, Reggie Draco. Reggie Draco. I did always sort of wish that they didn't give it the char 
Charizard head um, on the side of it when they made this Pokemon. Just because, obviously, I know Charizard's like a really cool, like, popular Pokemon. But it almost just feels a little overdone. Anyway, let's move on to Diflusion. Diflusion, Diflusion, Diflusion. So, I did get this ETB box um, from London when I went on a trip. Um, just because I normally order my stuff online. But um, this place called Dark Sphere. Dark Sphere. Had like a really good deal on like a lot of their Pokemon cards and stuff. Uh, they, they were having like not necessarily a sale. But they were they did have a pretty good deal on the price of their like ETPs and stuff. There's your code card, code card, code card, code card. Um so if you are in the UK and you are going towards London I would definitely advise just to pop in, have a look. Um, and they were all really friendly as well, so. So, let's have a look at what we're working with on this pack. So, we have a electric energy. We have a quilava. I do really like the Cyndaquil line. I think it is one of the better starter lines. Like, I just think they've got that good mix of like cute but like deadly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, we have a side duck that's turned into a gold duck. Gold duck. Gold duck. Super effective glasses. Super effective glasses. Apparently a Pokemon to attach a Pokemon to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon to attached. So it must have been an older gimmick or something. We have a very cute little Oshawott. Oshawott, Oshawott, Oshawott. I found Oshawott to be really, uh, maybe a hot hot take, I know, but I found it to be really annoying in the, um, in the anime. <laughs> Don't hate me if you'd have to. Uh, we have a Scyther. A Yanma. This pack looks very similar to the last. Are we gonna get, um, another British Draco? <laughs> and a uh, Hoodoo. Oh we have a reverse hollow rapidash, 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 rapidash. Looks pretty cool. I remember the mission in the um, Hisuian games where you have to catch a shiny, which is kind of cool. And, oh, we have a dark rye V, dark rye V, dark rye V. Which looks pretty incredible. Really incredible, actually. I do think. I know that people are like more after like the um, old arts and stuff, but I think when the when the fees are done correctly, they really do sort of look pretty incredible. Sorry about any background noise, guys. I've sort of like between university and other bits of what's going on, I don't really have much other time to film. So, <laughs> hopefully, you guys aren't being bothered by it too much. Um, but let's get on to packet number four. Number four. Number four. To be fair, I think. After this set um, and the premium collection box that we have, I think we're actually getting quite close to finishing, or like at least opening some 
of every of the um, of every sword and shield set. Because um, we've done most of them, I think we've got like brilliant stars. Um, four brilliant stars and something else left. Something else. Brilliant stars. Maybe fusion strike as well. But I can't actually think of anything else. Maybe rebel clash, but I think those are like quite hard to get a hold of now. I 
like those who are form of um, braviary. I think it's like a nice sort of difference compared to like the um, the plain like sort of flying type. We have another ponyta. It's an uncommon, so I don't think that makes it like a rare or something. Oh, there must not be. Yeah. 
have a dark streak or dark trick, dark trick. Depends on how you say it. Dark streak <laughs> or dark trick. <laughs> we have a drift blim, drift blim, drift blim. I have to say, even though I love these two Pokemon, this artwork really is not the best. It almost looks very, um, very like, uh, I don't want to say like a child made it, but <laughs> I mean, it's not my favourite <laughs> at all. <laughs> we have a dark patch. Attach a basic dark energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench dark Pokemon. Sounds odd. Oh, okay, this looks incredible. I mean, this is like the like a great mix of like cute but deadly. Um, yeah, Cinder Girl's awesome. I don't know anyone who wouldn't like him. A Sui and Quillfish, definitely a Pokemon that needed, um, needed something like this. And I think that this version of it is just so much cooler. It sort of makes, uh, the original Quillfish a little bit obsolete. <laughs> uh, a Sui and Growlithe, Growlithe, Growlithe. This, again, this artwork is great. I love this, like the background of like the volcanoes and stuff. Incredible. We have a Bergmite, 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 Bergmite. Spicy seasoned curry. Your active Pokemon is now burn heal forty damage from it. Okay. And we have a cleavor, cleavor, cleavor. Interesting that he's cutting stones in half. Ring, Ursa Ring. Definitely 
think it was a great decision to give it a evolution into Ursa Luna. Oh, this is quite a cute little artwork. Hippopotas. Hippopotas. It's, I can't tell if he's running after to try and catch it or if that's his, if that's his trainer. But that's a very cute little artwork. from the Johto region, uh, though usually curled into a ball due to its timid di disposition, it harbors tremendous firepower. See, cute but very deadly. <laughs> um, Hisuian quillfish, quillfish, a Hisuian growlith. We have a Bergmite, a reverse hollow Birchena, which we have not had yet, and I've just noticed the centering on this card is wildly out, like I find that absolutely hilarious, like a thin sliver, but just more of a funny little thing really, and a mammoth swine, mammoth swine, non hollow, non hollow, non hollow. See, maybe it was a good decision to pick this one first. I mean, we can't complain too much. We have been pretty lucky with these ones. So cool. Wow. I'm actually 
actually, honestly, with the cards that we've bought today, I'm actually speechless. And then just a Reggie Rock non hollow. But, oh wow, look at that. I mean, we did, we got four, four pulls today out of eight packs. That means we at least 50% hit rate, which is crazy. Oh, I can't remember this guy's name. The um, dark gym leader. But this is, um, yeah, this is incredible. I love the obstacle artwork. But unfortunately, guys, that is all the um, all the packs we have for today. So we got one V, dark grey V. We have a gold of Jubilife Village, a trainer. Gallery of Gardenia's Vigor and a Galarian Obstacoon. Um, what they called again? Trainer. Trainer Gallery. So that's pretty incredible, actually. Very happy with all of these. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. Um, I really do appreciate it. I want to thank you again so much for all the different supports that you guys do. Like subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, I honestly never thought, but well, not even a year ago, the channel would be in this sort of position. So again, that's a thanks to you guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully the channel can keep growing and you guys can keep enjoying the content. Um, but yeah, I will leave you there. I'll leave you there. And I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope to see you on the next one.